So yes, finally, finally, finally! But of course, I'm back with another really quick. Talking about the other quest, I actually meant to make that gone a little bit longer. So of course, we got a physical feature gone EZA. We have talking about fusion genius EZA. Of course, a long time coming, a long time waiting. Go go ahead and get started though, because I got a lot of reading, a lot of talking to do, a lot of thoughts, opinions. Also, of course, though, yeah, the EZA is all live and everything in the game. Just their summons and of course the and everything. This is this is literally just every Dragon Ball fusion unit, I guess. Every SSR is on the banner. I don't think so. I haven't seen the full banner at all yet, though. So it seems like it's just like all the Dragon Ball like, big units and stuff like that, though. But yeah, I don't have like a new metal and stuff like that, of course, so you can, I guess, awaken them. Seems like it. Um, so they'll probably no, because um, they still work with the old metals. I think have like I think they all have like a they, have, they all have their separate OPC and metal stuff. But I think for Tekka and Panich and um, Tian Chan, basically um, a Tian and um, kind of like Yamcha. Um, kind of fail slash, you know, fusion from Budokai, so, um, yeah, that's like a what if kind of fusion from Budokai, because Budokai, you can fail off fusions, I got mixed match, do your own things, I can assume that's probably what they got from Dragon Ball Heroes, um, this is the, um, androids, of course, summoning better for Gohan, because we get, we get these androids, weaknesses, this is Gohan, so it gets, it, yeah, it's androids, and of course, it's crossover for, um, what do we call it, crossover for Dragon Ball fusions, so, basically, every Dragon Ball Heroes unit, every unit is not basically, a, you know, like, a uniform series, and stuff like that, basically, what ifs, like, Bardock, um, yeah, like, um, um, Demi Gura, like Xenoverse, stuff like that, like, so, for, for example, if we get more Xenoverse cards in the future, we'll, they'll probably be on this category, no matter what, though, so, we got, like, Super Saiyan 3, Xeno, Trunks, we'll probably get some on there, too, sooner or later, though, so, of course, they go to Gohansa as well, um, again, like I said, it gets Androids, so it should be really, really easy to go through, the easy has to be really easy, some of them, this year, like, Super Saiyan 4 was difficult, STR, STR, I would say STR Gucci, this was kind of difficult, a little bit, though, but nothing, like, crazy or whatever, though, but, um, yeah, Again, like little, little little stuff like that, though, of course, though. But, um, yeah, of course, Gohan takes 15 bronze, 40 silver, 30 gold, 30 rainbow, of course, like always. Uh, for 5,000, you get, for physical orbs, you get 5,200, 4,000 for medium, and 360 for large. I think it adds up to just a little bit, it's like 8,000, 7,000, one of the two. Uh, 11 physical on um, Grand Kai's, and of course, 30 stones. And of course, for the Dragon Ball Fusion Juice, it's pretty much the same exact thing, though, but again, they all have the metals. So I'm assuming, like, with Kuliza comes out, I don't know what they're gonna do for them, though, because I think they need awakenings first, probably, because Kuliza, um, there's like a Frieza and Cooler Fusion, there's like a, um, Beerus and Weiss Fusion, like Weiris. I think, um, I know Japan, I think Weiris means virus, though, so it's like Beerus and like, um, Japan and stuff like that, though, so like they teen it up a little bit. Yeah, they all have like their own, like, it's like a big collab, kind of like big ETA, like they have like four or five units in here, and they just basically just add them on here and stuff like that. Though. So, of course, 30 stones, they always are kind of loaded and stuff like that, because it's like basically, well, basically almost like everything kind of here, though. So, for, um, so you get ADL tech and invisible orbs, you get 1,500 um, small, 1,000 medium, of course, 100 large, you can take stuff. Uh, for each of them, they have 14 um, bronze, 40 silver, 40 gold, and 30 rainbow. I think, did I change it 40? Oh, am I tripping? Give me a second. Oh yeah, they, they added an like, extra 40 for the gold. Really weird. Because it's usually 30, so gold and silver they change. Um, they, um, it might, I might refresh the page or whatever. But it's usually, yeah, I guess for, I guess for cards over they kind of add a little bit more. Because it's usually 30 for gold. It really where it's 40, but um, I, they'll probably add those easiest later. Maybe they'll have them on like a different stage or whatever. Or they might make a sec uh, cat, second half easy. Like there's a baby, like a baby in Geneva fusion. There was like a, um, um, yes, yeah, there's a baby, you know, there's um, Geneva and Boo fusion here. There's a, um, Beerus and Weeks fusion, uh, Cell and Freezer fusion, a Cooler and Freezer fusion. I think there's only like four, I think there's one more, I can't remember, but those on um, the Awakenings and ECA, of course. So they'll probably get Awakenings first and they'll probably be ECA. They get Awakenings and ECAs, I hate those because it's like, you just wait to your unit, like you really just wait to unit value to buy Awakening them and just like, you know, you can't use them because you gotta ECA them like right after that. That's been a big problem, like the ATL um, cooler from last year, like for the LR Goku campaign. Has it been a year already? Maybe like six months, six, seven months, uh, whatever. But well, maybe, honestly, I think it's about a year now. Actually, yeah, I think it's about a year now. Um, for, for both Goldman J, because I remember doing videos from on Thanksgiving and a little bit before that, so, yeah. Uh, like, Kaioken, not Kaioken, but like, no, because those dudes had like, a, like, Lord Slug, but Tech one, got like, an Awakening and the EZA, and it was just really bad for him, like, just, you just wasted that, like, EZA, and so, you just wasted like, a year's Awakening. It was just, yeah, but yeah. Um, that's what I kind of hate about that, Awakening in the EZA, but these guys didn't need the EZA for a long time though, and it was leaked from like the Future Trunks, um, Future Trunks Celebration AG1 that goes to, you know, to Super Saiyan and stuff like that from your first Mega like, Freezer fight, it was leaked that, um, we had like, it was like a fusion category, you know, used like a fusion category, um, whatchamacallit, used like a fusion category, um, I can't think of it right now, I'm using a fusion category, um, 
like using it so much. So I was like, yeah, the heroes just are fucking easy games over weekend, which is whatever though. So there's only like four left. Again, they could bring, I mean, I don't know, like I said, the game is dead, but they have like a Broly and Goku Black Fusion. They have like a Kate Goku and some Monster Fusion. There's just any, like, who's your character or anybody else? Like, like there's like all, like, all fusion, like, all the characters, like Pan, like, um, Goten Trunks, you're like your main character, or, like, you can, like, all them fuse together though. But, that, but Tech and Penetra are basically the main use of that series though. So. Um, and of course, three Garen Kaiser for AGL Tech Int um, and SDR. So, yeah. Once I use Awakening and stuff like that, of course, they also have very simple frequency. And this is how you get your medals and stuff like that to awaken them. You can use this old Dragon Ball Fusion, which, you know, meme event has been, you know, meme forever, though. Because the medals were not in, like, a Baba Shop for, like, almost a year on Global, and they actually just added them a little long ago this year. So, um, yeah. Again, this is how you get the GT Pan medals. This is how you get the Barla medals to awaken them. Again, you can easily get them the Baba Shop as well. You know, so, yeah. Of course, not until you know, wait and stuff like that. Of course, if you did go on along the way to uh, use the eight unit, again, I just put it all in one video just because I didn't feel like making these all just separate videos. I was like, eh, whatever. So, yeah. So, of course, Future Gohan does um, physical, uh, Future Saga uh, Future K3, everything else 170. I think now he's the best feature unit leader. Again, for category ZA, you use the 150 or 160 or whatever, though they can take him to buffer up maybe like 160, 170. So, yeah, I think he might be the best feature leader in the game. He might be on him now. Uh, super attack effect. Where is attack and defense one turn? It's pretty, oh, it causes immense damage to him. Okay, he's actually good because he's going to give himself a lot of attack and defense, like when he started out and stuff like that. So, holy crap, a lot of his passive. And again, like the category don't change or whatever, though. So, yeah. So, he does, um, first passive does attack plus 1 8, 158, oh my lord, 158, tank, holy crap. Made defense up by 158, um, less AP, has a very boost, um, which I love those seven units, though. I think, like, um, the attack, no, the int is a monster, you know, like, uh, I think, like, and Bojack did that though, so yeah. Um, reduce damage received by 30%, or reduce damage received by 7%. That's our, uh, sorry, um, dang, each turn doesn't say up to 28%. Yeah, it's gonna be good for the 30 go for a bit. Plus, um, but there's a turn restrictions and stuff for that problem though, so um, no, it's not every turn though, so it, it doesn't say like, you know, doing this or that or whatever though. So he has got a damage reduction that he's gonna have. You know, more reduction as the time goes up for, for every turn though, up to a max of 28 though. It was like 158, that'd be insane. He might be the best um, damage reduction unit in the game. But the additional attack and defense was 150, 120. The only chance of becoming a crit when there's a Future Saga category ally who has Trunks attack in the same turn. Okay, I had a feeling it was going to be like that though, but um. A mini version of the LR that we have though, like a really mini version of the LR because they do kind of the same thing, just attack close 150, damage reduced, crit, so it's basically a baby version of the LR we have right now though, so, um, yeah, not bad, like not too bad or whatever, he actually got a lot of good updates, like you know, a lot of, de of some good damage reduction, some more attack, a little bit more, a lot more attack. A lot more defense, which he didn't need before, because his attack was actually good, just he really needed defense, and they kind of they could have, did a good balance of attack and defense for this guy. Really good. I like what they did with him. He's really, really good, actually. I cannot wait to see, like, showcase him. They made him just disgusting, though, by the way, so, yeah. Of course, onto the fusion units and stuff without Crowley. So, I think they all have the same little skill, like, for the typing. Like, Crowley has, like, key 3, um, you know, tech type key 3, everything up 100%. So, we have Pandel, Raw Pan, Bar Lot, all of that thing. So, this is the Goku and Bullet Fusion from Dragon Ball Fusion, like, a white fusion. I actually like this one. So, yeah. So, the Supreme Damage, I think the only thing different is the passive and SFX, because links and categories don't change at all, though. So, yeah. Uh, so it's only like leader skill as effect and um passive though. So they look good. Um, but yeah though. Um, so he does. Okay, so yeah, I actually we got on this. So he does supreme damage. So um, supreme damage, high chance of stunning the enemy, pretty good. Uh, attack defense was staying 260 percent. Lost additional attack has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Attack with 59 percent when the, the target enemy is stunned. Okay, that's really bad. I'm not saying it's not bad, but it's not really good either. They could have really just went all this guy against Goku and Broly Fusion. Can you just? Like went all out. It was like a really, really, really infant baby semen sack of you know, like literally um, um, baby LR, you know, gone and drunk. So, you know, like they just copy and paste some kind of things here though. So and that's okay though. Again, like I said, nothing crazy. If, if, if Pandio gets a massive support buff, I'm not gonna be. I'm gonna be really pissed off though. So yeah. Overall, Pandora Pass is like a paragraph one, but yeah. But, um, of course, for Barla, the Goku, and Bardock Fusion, I mean, they use like, like Kakarot instead of like Goku. It, 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 otherwise, they call like, Go, like, Go Karat or something like, or like, Go Broly, Bar, Bar, I don't even know. I'm not gonna try to do this. I'm not doing this on, I don't do this on camera. I'm not doing this on camera. I'm not about mis mispronouncing this. That's a big meme with YouTubers nowadays. So yeah, randomly changes um, a certain type of ski sphere. It's besides STR to STR. Text bits was 30%. Um, for every SRT you should attain, plus additional attack defense for 30%. The chance of doing a crit up to 10% through with three or more key spheres. 
uh, attained high chance of performing an additional attack, additional super attack with the unfought for more keys here, plus additional uh, attained, uh, plus additional attack with 30%. And chance of doing the crit of 50% for seven more keys. So basically, the more keys for you get more hit crits. And he's basically just a nuker, which he was beforehand, though. So he's gonna be a massive nuker. Again, like I said, I mean, these five more keys for him, three or more, just like, just nowadays, not really good because, again, like Super Battle Road, you're, I mean, it's, it was like, it's, like, the links are gonna just suck overall because they like, it's basically an attack and defense links, which is gonna be really good. But, like, you really no key to help him support, though. So that's why these students were kind of to death for a long time because they had, like, no key support. They were just, yeah, but now with the Link Club update and everything, of course, it's gonna be a little bit different though. But I mean, it, he's okay. Again, like I said, it, I mean, Division Nukes were okay before he got ECA. Like they were just kind of dead in the water though. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Burl is just a really just a nuker, though. The more crit and stuff like okay, he's good. Like he's gonna be really good. Like getting a lot of crit and um, the more spheres you get and stuff like that though. Again, a lot more crit, which actually could be really good. Again, for three more spheres, which actually is not bad though. Okay, you can see him crit a lot though. You can see him do a lot of attack defense. His number's gonna go up really well though. So I can actually see some more good potential for him. Though. Of course, on to Bandel. Of course, really just a Fidel with pigtails. Literally, just it's the pain and Fidel fusion. Um, they do supreme damage to attack defense with the good. I think that's what they did before. A passive does attack defense. 150 or allies attack defense plus 30 percent plus additional attack defense plus 10 percent the tens of being enemies attack and super attacks per fusion category ally on this okay it's actually really good i think it's like a baby version of the str um pan that got her easy at the um you know the waifu quote unquote waifu one that we got this year with the Macho vegeta celebration though so um yeah not bad either like again like a really just you know like, they, what they did before basically except about allies and stuff like that though but for every fusion category on the team again like i said the team feels kind of limited it does still need help a lot more help because again you see batara you see like uh transformation boost and you see like fusion and it's just like the team's kind of just that but with the dragon ball heroes update which is so good helping out a lot of units and teams and stuff like that like time travelers crossovers and stuff like that um you know the teams are gonna get just a lot more better though it does like super saiyan 3 and like batars or whatever though but um yeah, again, like what she did before though, I think she just helped out Alice and stuff like that. Which again, she isn't that bad though. Again, they could have made again really, really decent design and stuff like that though, of course. So um yeah. On to Pandel, I think. Uh no, uh, Brawl Pants, basically Brawl Pants fusion, even though like, again their their age are not fused, she's still like ten years old, because I know Pan's like what like oh, way older than like Brawl. Like, whatever. So yeah. Uh super attack effect raise attack defense for one turn, so damage to enemy. Attack defense plus one fifty, plus additional attack and defense plus thirty percent per fusion category ally on the Attack in the same turn, excluded himself, themselves. Um, all allies keep the reattack when 8 for 30% or above. High chance of um, attack, being effective with all types, high chance of guarding all attacks. Okay, they made her just really good, because before she was just dead in the water, too. She's just a really good massive support unit, though, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I feel like she's probably like, her, like, she probably is like, almost the best one out of all these, though. Even though the HP, about uh, 30% like, you know, for allies, but well, that isn't really good, useful, because again, you're never going to get a below 30% with shit to out of her, or whatever. But, um, I don't know. I feel like she's probably really good. I think I always she's probably like probably the best one because again, get, get, being a gets all types and guarding and stuff like that though. So, um, and high chance of just you know being a, you know high again like say high chance of um. I feel like they should have made that super effective against all types permanent because a lot of units and you know, nowadays just do it. They should just get that in general. And both the top of that again, it's like like I said, guarding gets all attacks to be really good. And effective gets all types is really good. Again, they should just move that restriction and just made it permanent. Oh, I should pause the on team. Probably would have been the best unit in the game for like you know key like best support unit in the game like a baby. Turtles in that show. I think her and probably Pandel get the little better ones. The Barlock's pretty, again, like it's just really all over the place, though. Of course, one to Tech and Peninsula, of course, the main characters for Dark Ball. Um, fusions and stuff like that, of course. I think the same leader skill, I think same essay effect. Um, yeah. Lord's Defense, Lord's Defense, okay, yeah, same thing, okay, so, yeah. Uh, here we go. I think the characters don't change that much, though, um, but yeah, um, Tech is, is Tech Defense with 100%, plus additional Tech Defense with 30%. When there's another cat cat um, cat crossover category ally Tech in the same turn, high chances of um, Tech Defense going up for um, Tech Defense for um, allies, um, for allies, Tech Defense up 25%. Decently good, again, like I said, it's a really good, decent, solid fruit by unit. Nothing crazy or whatever, though. I expected that. Of course, for Vintage, is key to attack defense with 100%. And attack was 80% and went from the super attack. Okay, that's actually really good. He got a lot better, though, again. Um, okay, that hurts them. But yeah, um, very, very simple units. But I got everybody units and stuff like that. Under the um, TN, of course, the um, Yamcha Fusion. So they do attack defense with 10% per physical key for a Dane. Really 
Glad I did far. Uh, spring damage was attack, really good. Attack defense was 120. Well, and attack defense. And attack plus 60 percent on super attack, when HP is 80 percent or less. Key sickness plus additional attack, plus 60 percent, HP is 80 percent or less. Only once. Okay, nothing great though either, but I guess I like Tekka, like, I think Panish got the better one out of Tekka though, but again, like I say, he's really just a there to be getting as the main character of helping out your allies, he's just like, like get stronger. Again, they're basically rivals, and stuff like that for the series, and stuff like that for their Dark the Fusion series. But yeah, now that I'm looking, again, like I said, Fiji Gohan got a lot of goodness out of this, he's really good. Uh, Fiji units like Curly's pretty okay, um, first battle, so I have really decently good, I could actually get a lot of defense. Pendale, and of course, um, Brawl Pan, probably, probably I don't think these two got probably the better ones in the end of the sticks, but at the same time it's kinda like eh. But I don't know what to really say though. Again, they're all pretty okay. Again, they were kinda all dead before they rolled us. Um yeah though. But yeah, good go ahead and video there sure though again. In my opinion is some of that the feed units are pretty decent. Brawlot's okay. I mean Corolla's pretty okay. Brawlot's execute because it's getting some really good damage potential. Again, mainly the nuclear unit don't but you're gonna get a lot of crit, but it's pretty much what a lot probably could be really worth though. Makes him a lot of tech defense and damage reduction though, but yeah. Um of course Pandale and Brawl Pain are probably the best one honestly because they're yeah, helping all your allies and they're again a very few units specifically and um, again they're probably gonna be just basically working off each other right here though. So I guess I'll say they'll probably maybe and then I'll probably say like one or like one, two, uh, three, four probably. Again, the tech and miniature are actually a lot really a little bit better though. Again, Panish is going to be probably really good though. Again, a lot of crazy stuff. Though, so, yeah. See you guys later though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Have a great day. Be sure to stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless all of you for going out. Play a robot. Play a robot. So, I got to go all out on this field. Of course, you like to hate it. Again, they're all pretty decently okay. Again, like I said, those are my ranks. Stuff like that. Gohan's really good. Uh, Crowley's okay. Um, Barlot, again, like I said, these fusion units are just like gold, stuff like that, dead in the water now. Curly, I know Barlot actually has really good damage potential. Raw pain, and of course, they're actually really decent. Again, the next ones will probably be a lot better because these ones just kind of, and it just because they just goes in their paths of stuff that just hasn't really been really well. Again, Tech of Pinch are probably like more better than them. I really like Pinch stuff, and it's actually really good because they mainly just kind of say. I mean, the Vegeta, and of course, like for the series, you know, getting stronger one, your rival, and stuff like that, of course, your Pokemon, Pokemon protagonist essentially, and Tech is pretty much kind of like the main character of the allies. And Tin, the Tin Archer Fusion is dead. Yeah. See you guys later. Nope. So.